All right, folks, this is day one of 2022 for me for scouting Kentucky. I am going in a new area today on this other side. I never made it to. I just didn't have enough days of scouting in and didn't really hunt it, but uh, this side at all. And uh, I really want to check it out. It's near the river. And um, as you can tell in the back there, so I'm going to walk this edge of this river, get back into this other part. It's like the farthest part from any of the access areas and kind of looks like the toughest to get to. And we're going to see, hopefully find maybe a couple sheds and then hopefully find some good sign to put some more cameras out. But we're going to be hunting this opening weekend. This year sounds like with my buddy Parker and Chris might come out with us and we're going to camp out here and kind of do like a public land challenge. So back out here scouting hard and gonna put like probably four or five cameras back out here again and see if we can get on them and maybe find that big seven point i saw last last year so we'll see what we find i'm gonna show you the difference between so this you see the front claws there that's a yodi track this looks like to me you don't really see the Oh, like claws coming out of it. So I think that's a bobcat track. Look how much bigger that is too, coming up here. So it's pretty cool when you get to see all these tracks there, so. Oh guys, I've been looking for a while. Finally, I don't know if you can see down in here, but ruffled up look at this zoom out finally found those big deer trees right there looks like they're coming through this that's where they cross there at the river and finally come into here go right up there we're gonna fall that and see what we find but finally it's been a little bit thought I would have found a trail earlier First rub, folks. Got in the CRP field. Been scouting that whole side. There's definitely deer moving in and out of this place big time. We're gonna get a camera up in here, no doubt. It's kind of just like the other spot I scouted on the opposite end of this property. Hell yeah, first rub. Rub number two at the end of this little peninsula on the river. This trail out, folks. Look at those big trees. There's the river. I finally got looped around. I'm in all this can't speak CRP thick stuff. I found a couple rubs in here. We're pretty good ways back. I'm gonna check this out and then I'm gonna check this other side. This is like a little bowl where the river bends in around here and this drops down, but there's these ridges that I thought the deer would be running. So look at that. Nice. Guys, I think this spot might be money. Those trails are, I mean, it's all, there's just, it looks like there's deer working this whole hillside. And look at that. One, two, two ropes right here. I mean, that looks money in here. I'm hoping I'll find a shed maybe. Oh yeah, that's definitely money. All right, folks, so we're probably halfway through my scout, but I think I might have just struck gold here at this spot. There's just, uh, so I've been following the river around, and uh, I'm back in here quite a ways, and um, I'm basically just seeing where the deer funnel through with the river. And I just, I mean, I just showed you that area with all those rubs. There's like, I probably got 10 plus rubs just in this little, hundred square whatever thing in this little bowl and there are just trails everywhere like all through that CRP and I know what it looks like I mean it's gonna be thick as can be come deer season but I'm thinking if I can access this through a kayak which I was already thinking about doing because I think that gets you away from a lot of these people and you don't spook the deer as much and a good thing is 
you can almost hunt this a bunch of different winds because that side there's the river and then it loops around here so you could hunt it a bunch of different winds and be able to hunt come in here and keep hunting it and not spook deer and then you only have to walk like a hundred yards from the river of course you got a canoe quite a ways but um, a kayak quite a, quite a ways but i'm kind of thinking that might be the move and i kind of knew that's what i was going to be looking at but We'll see. It's definitely a spot. I'm probably going to put at least two, maybe three trail cameras at. Because there's just so many rubs and trails through there that I think I want to get that area. Kind of see how many deer are really moving through there. But it looks like it's a bunch. So we'll see. But we're on a, we're on a trail now. And we're going to keep looking. Still haven't found a shed. But feeling pretty good now after finding that spot. Well, folks. Just spooked my first deer. There she goes. It's following this trail. Still following it. Big goes in and out. There she goes. Oh, two. At least two. You're not gonna see that, but obviously I was following the right thing. Apparently. Huh? We're getting into it, man. Feeling good about this spot. Right here, you can kind of, you can see it. But once you kind of scout long enough, you can kind of pick up where you see those trails coming through. Man, it is really dripping now. Everything's melting quick. First rub. Now that is a bed. Oh, there's another one. Right there. Might have been those same two I came up on. I followed their trail. Up there and finally got back on here. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Good reach to bed on. So there's a third. Yep. Number three. Number four. Definitely all on this ridge. Number four. One. I think I found a third over here. Look at this steep thing they're bedding on top of. Looking over the whole valley, you can see the whole thing happening. Really thick area right up there. Oh, it's pretty cool seeing the little icicles. Well, folks, that was a pretty good trip, man. Um, got about five miles of scouting in. Pretty quick trip today. I got stuff I gotta get done at home, but, you know, uh, like I said, I kinda, I knew this area I really wanted to check out, and I thought it could be good, and it looks pretty dang good. Um, it's kinda out of the way, it's a little more steep, I think, than some of the other areas, I mean, there's definitely guys that can get back there, like, I just found out the one road that I've actually driven on last year, I hunted back over there more, it actually links up to the one ridge I was walking through, and got on a big log and trials, like, uh, like you can park right there and get there which is it's nice it's easier but which means you can hunt it's probably better for the morning hunts coming from the top and let the sun rise in the early season and then maybe the evening hunts you come back in the back set here on the, on the river and use your kayak but um but now pretty thrilled uh that was some really good sign that one area i mean there are trails and rubs everywhere and it's the farthest away from any roads or anything and it's pretty thick and steep terrain to get down in if you don't access it through kayak i'm not sure how many guys do that but that's kind of what i'm thinking i mean we're gonna put a camera there last year i thought i had some money spots and put a camera up and didn't get anything so it might not be as good as it looks but i kind of feel like this area is going to be pretty good so i'm definitely going to put a camera up there probably march middle march late march probably go come back out here Maybe scout the other section next to it, bring a bunch of cameras, put at least two in that area. And I want to scout the backside. I found a blind on the backside of the river. But, um, yeah, we're definitely going to come and scout it. But hey, that was a really good scouting trip. I'm pretty pumped. This this piece of public pretty. seems like it's got a lot of deer in it. And it seems like there's definitely some good bucks. I mean, I've had some on camera. And there's a lot of sign that says there's some big bucks in here. So thanks for watching. Sub like and subscribe to the channel. That would help me out a lot. If you guys like these type of videos, I like doing the scouting ones to show you all the prep work that goes into hunting season that a lot of people don't show. And uh, we'll get back with you when we get back out. Thanks.